What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Eric and in today's video we're going to be talking about Z1 and their gaskets. I'm going to talk to you guys about why they suck and why you guys should not buy those gaskets. Now don't get me wrong guys, I love Z1 Motorsports. I actually installed a Z1 clutch kit on my 300ZX so I believe they make some awesome uh, products however I feel like the word needs to be spread out uh, so that you guys are aware as a consumer so that you're not buying something that it's not gonna work for you so what I'm talking about is the three hole uh, VHR gaskets that they sell that are made out of metal now I have installed these gaskets on my 350z HR um, in between the test pipe and the header and ever since I installed them they have been leaking non-stop I have torqued down those uh, fasteners as much as I could. Uh, I try to do everything in my power to make them seal. However, I have been unsuccessful in uh, making them seal perfectly. This is an exhaust clip from my 350Z and you guys can just take a listen here. The exhaust is leaking so much out of this flange, it's crazy. And you guys are probably going to say that I have warped flanges, but that's not the case. Even my two hole flange leaks. Now Z1 claims that these gaskets seal up your exhaust, they're made out of metal, and they feel like they're made out of good material. However, they don't work. They don't seal the exhaust like how they should. And I actually reached out to Z1 Motorsports to see what the hell was going on, and this is what they responded to me. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not ASE certified, but this does not make any sense at all. Now, in the conversation that I had with the representative, they basically said, yes, this is a gasket. However, it still needs uh, RTV so that it can seal up perfectly. Now, in my experience as working on vehicles, I have never had an issue with the gasket sealing if that's what the purpose of the gasket was for. Unfortunately, I do not have my VHR gasket because it's currently on my vehicle right now. But for demonstration purposes, I did want to bring out another gasket. Uh, this is the three inch two hole gasket that Z1 sells, right? And uh, right over here, we have the uh, standard DE gasket. Now this is a OEM part. This is what your DE has currently if it's stock. This gasket works great. I reuse it all the time when I install test pipes and I have never had a leak with these gaskets. Now. When you compare the Z1 gasket to this gasket, you can see that there's a huge quality difference. On the DE gasket, the material is completely flush. If you try to pick it up with your nail, it barely catches on. When you try to do the same thing to the Z1 gasket, there is a huge lip on the gasket. I think this is what the failing point is of these gaskets. They just don't seal because they're not completely flush. If this gasket was completely flush and flat like how the other side is, I feel like this gasket would be great. The metal gaskets that Z1 sells are not cheap. They're about $14, $15 each. Uh, so in total you're looking about $35 for just two gaskets. I know some of you guys are going to probably say in the comment section that the VHR does not have a triangle uh, gasket that comes from stock and that's true. They use a uh, O-ring uh, style of a gasket. However, you guys can make these triangle gaskets seal and I'll show you guys what I have uh, here that I've used personally on a DE and it has worked great. So Concept Z, funny enough, makes some extra thick gaskets. Now these bad boys are fat and I have used them on a DE like I said and I have personally seen that they have never leaked um, up to this point and they're made out of solid material. So what they're made out of is graphite uh, with a stainless steel uh, I guess insert in the middle to keep everything together. These gaskets are going to be much better at uh, sealing up your exhaust system than the Z1 metal gasket. Now, I would even go as far as recommending these other types of gaskets that use uh, kind of like a similar uh, construction as the Concept Z gasket. However, they have the metal 
uh, stainless steel uh, on the outside and in the middle of the gasket is where you have the graphite. These gaskets work pretty great as well. However, over time I have noticed that these gas gaskets uh, do burn up and they start to slowly leak. So what is the best gasket for your 350Z or 370Z, G35, G37? Well, that's up to you. Uh, personally, I would recommend the Concept Z Extra Thick Gaskets for the uh, header to test pipe connection. Um, I could also say these gaskets will work great if you find the VHR style three hole gasket. I would avoid Z1 gaskets altogether. Even the two hole gaskets don't seal. I have one of these on my uh, 350Z Nismo S2 exhaust and it does not seal the two hole connection either. So I am going to go back in that car, remove those gaskets and install the Concept Z gasket um, so that I can have a quiet exhaust again. So in summary, I personally would not recommend Z1 metal gaskets because overall they just don't seal. That's the main issue and that's basically why you're buying a gasket, right? You're buying a gasket so that you don't have a leak. But when you buy a gasket that does not work, it's hard for you to recommend it. It's hard for you to give them a good review. So I feel like Z1 really needs to work on these gaskets. Now I'm curious to see if maybe I'm the only person in the world that has defective gaskets. Uh, so make sure to comment down below what your experience is if you are using your Z1 metal gaskets. Personally, I have seen that they don't work and that's why I'm saying I wouldn't recommend it. If you guys wanna see more of these videos kind of comparing different parts or talking about parts that don't work altogether, uh, comment down below or like the video so that I know you guys found this content entertaining. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.